for my last interview today. I have Anna Kramling and she is smiling, although she has lost a match. Yeah, I lost a match. I'm not so happy about that. <laughs> but I'm thinking about something else now, so. Oh, that's good. What is that something else? Well, I mean, we're doing this interview, so I guess, I guess it was good to just think about something else right after the match, yeah. Lovely, I'm not going to ask you about your match. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, I, um, I want to ask you this on the camera. To have a, you know, to be playing since you are three yeah. and to have a mother grandmaster, how is it? How does it feel to be, to be living with a, with a grandmaster all the time? Well, I'm used to it. I don't really know anything else than having chess parents, basically. Um, but I've been re I'm really really thankful for that because they've really helped me both my parents they really helped me with my chas and I mean not everyone can have a coach at home so I'm really thankful about that that's very kind of you <laughs> if you were not a chess player what would you do oh um, what would I do I'd probably do YouTube and streaming but with something else just like I'm doing now with chess but just with any any other game probably which game? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, probably I would do travel streams, I think. I'd want to be a, a travel blogger, a travel streamer. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, have you been to India before? Is this your first time? Yeah, this is my first time. What, what do you have to say about India? India's been amazing. Um, I think the whole organization has been really good and everything is, has felt really good. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's been great. I would love to have it here again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck for the future rounds. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank, Thank you, you Anna.